just uh, went out there for a second. So what we're gonna, I'm going to do is I'm going to do one more, and I'm going to create her face. And I'm really not going to do much on this. I'm just going to really whip it out quick. So shift control gets rid of a node. And here we go here. So I'm just gonna bomb through this. And I'm going to really go quickly. Control, close it off, and I'm just going to draw some of the hairlines. Right, we're going to click another one, shift click. Control down here. Now this one goes a little bit further in, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that down to here so it overlays this one. And let's just go in and draw her eye. So it's uh, shift and start, shift and click, and maybe another shift. And this part you can really draw in better yourself, like by hand. Anyways, so we'll create a new layer, call that the head, rename this layer, this path to head, and then we're going to stroke the path. And get rid of this, get rid of that, and get rid of the background. And it looks like probably going to done with the neck as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to click in here and go to path tool and do a shift. And move these guys around. And maybe add a bit of hair. I'll shift and let's try some hair from here. Move that to there, bring that in here, bring this down here, get this guy moving over the line, so it's close to the line, oops, close to the line, that looks like it closed off there, which is not, it's okay for me. And we can come back here and we can then stroke the path again. Now, if you made a mistake and you've moved it since, what you can do is do a control A and X and get rid of all the lines on that particular layer and then come back in and stroke the path. That's a good thing about this method. If you make a mistake, um, you know, you can redo it and you don't have to draw. And let's see, well now it's starting to look like a girl, right? So, now what we're gonna quickly do is color it. And I show you that my method of coloring um, is pretty easy. Uh, let's do First of all, let's do her legs. And what I do is I create a new layer. And I put that below. And I label it legs color. And you can do one of two things. You could also um, make a folder. But I know folders don't work right now in, uh, in, uh, with my capture software. So I'm not going to do that. Um, Another thing I might you might want to do is you might want to close off these areas. I'm going to draw across here. You'll see why in a second. 
Now remember, if you mess this all up, you can always just do a control A and X and get rid of it all. And then just basically come down here, go to your path tool, stroke your path again, making sure of course you have the right color. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the we're going to use the magic wand. I'm going to click on there, click on there. And now if I paint this, it's going to just a little bit miss it because of the anti-aliasing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go select, I'm going to go grow. I'm going to grow it by one. And now it's a little bit bigger. And now I go to the layer below and do Shift B and just paint. Now you can see you've got the leg color. Now we, we've got her dress. So let's just get rid of a few of these things here. So now I've got the legs. So I'm going to get rid of that. Do Control A to get rid of my select. Now, if I do a select, I can see here I might miss this here. So I might probably need to come in and fix the dress up a little bit. So let me go back to get the correct color. And I'm going to go to my path tool, make sure I'm on the dress layer. I don't want to mess that up. And I'm just going to move this over a little bit. And I want to make sure it's all closed off. I know it's closed off up there. and down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restroke the layer and that's perfect. Now what I can do is basically do the same sort of thing. So come down here, create a new layer and call that dress color and then go to this layer, use the magic wand, select everything, grow the, it again I won. Come down to my dress color and then do a bucket. And I'm going to, yeah, let's make it, yeah, let's make it this color. And there we go. And let's bring in our legs again. Now, as you can see, that this layer, this layer is above this layer, so that actually hides the legs. So the good thing is, is I could, when I start saving it out, if I start saving them out as separate things, then I can make the legs move and I can make the body move. So let's go to the arm. Now, as you can see here, I've got the glove and I got the hand and I really need to fix that up a little bit. So let's just fix that up a bit. So we'll get rid of these guys, get rid of the dress. And let's go to the arm. Go to the path tool. Let's just get our color ready. Now we're going to need to draw a line across here. So I'm going to shift click out here. And I'm going to come across here and click. And then I'm going to go down here. Now I need to come in and move this here. So let's put it there. And then move that there. And I'm going to come up and fix this bit. And just close that off like that. Now I'm going to go on my arm and just do control A and just get rid of everything. And then I'm going to restroke my the path. And I mean you can come along and you could I mean you could actually come in and and do some of the stripes so Shift click, click, come down, and we can do a few stripes. We'll do big stripes. Shift click, click. Now this is pretty good because I mean we're doing all this with a mouse. Right? So let's stroke the path again. Make sure we have the right the right uh, layer and that looks pretty good and let's uh, I'd say that's about ready for coloring so we're going to do what we do always we're going to get a, create a new layer and call that arm color 
and then we go back to the arm get the magic wand select that grow that by one and we need to get our color so let's uh, maybe this is better skin color here so we'll get rid of that go back to our arm color control uh, shift B for the bucket and paint that and that's probably a better color so I'm going to come in here and back up to our arm here we're going to oops yeah. roll that again and down to our color down to our lower layer and now it didn't actually get done here so what we can do is we can get the paintbrush and just kind of fill it in now she's got this lovely glove so what we'll do is we'll come in get our magic wand and we'll do a shift and, mag and click again and grow it sorry about this keeps going to my second screen and I don't know what color would a glove be ah, let's make it black for now let's not make it black let's make it a color right how about burgundy shift B go down to the color layer go back up get the magic wand grow that selection down to the layer and what we'll do is we'll pick a color which is just similar on the right layer there we go let's bring in some of our other layers now let's just go fix your legs uh, come in and grow that and oh we want to get the correct color so we can go up here go down there oh, legs color make sure on the right layer do a shift B and paint that in now let's quickly do her head Nope, don't need that. Do a new, new layer. Head color. Um, now her ear here might be a bit of a problem. So let's just close off her ear. So let's go to the head. Go to the path tool, pick the right color. Actually, just put there in here. If you click that, it puts it into this little palette here. And then we choose black. And let's click on this one and click here. And we're going to come in and just basically move it down here. Then we're going to stroke the path. Oops, we're on the wrong layer for one thing. So we undo that and stroke the path again. And what's going on here? So I would think I've got a selection going on somewhere. Yes, I do down here. So basically do control A and now we can stroke the path. And as you can see, it does it. Right, so we're going to add some color now. Get rid of this guy. Do the same method as before. And this way we're going to do that and do grow it again. We go ahead and get our color. And is it purple hair maybe? I don't know. Oops, I did it on the wrong layer. You don't want to be doing it on the on your line layer but you know the way this method you can always wipe them all out and redraw them so this is the great thing about this method it's not permanent plus because you have these um, these things what are they called the paths sorry uh, let's see where we're gonna get it's a purple hair nice okay selection tool here we go 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this um, different. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, grow this again. Uh, we're going to select, grow. There's a purple hair. Now what I'm going to do is come down here and I'm, oops, wrong layer. There we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and select this guy and grow that. And I'm going to make it a little darker, like just for shading purposes. Go down to my head color, bucket tool. You can see it's just a little darker. And I can do that as well for the neck. Um, so let's just um, select our neck. Oops, what happened there? I have a feeling what's going on here is we have nothing to close this off. So come over the head, go to the path tool, and see I've got nothing to close that off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and click there and then bring this back here. Make sure I'm on the head. Now, usually I rename this called lines. That's really what you should do. So you got headlines and head color. And then come in, restroke your path. And now when I select it, it selects that area. Grow that by one. Let's get our skin color. We're going to make it a little darker. And it's on the wrong layer. So I'm going to head color. And there we go. Now you can come in and you could go along and shade all this sort of stuff. But I mean, let's have a look and see what we've got here. What I've done is I've moved the arm and the arm color into its own group. And now I'm going to show you kind of like how the animation will kind of work. So I'm going to go to the rotate and I'm going to click this here. Now I'm going to get the rotation point and move that. And then I'm going to just rotate it. And as you can see, the arm is going to rotate. And it will go through the two layers. And there you go. So now you can see that it's this part will rotate. Now you can do that with the legs on the head now. Probably what we should have done with the head is we might have wanted to make the neck come down a little bit here. Um, but let's put it in its own group and see what happens. Okay, I'm back. Um, what I've done is moved with the head, the dress, and the legs into their own um, groups. This is a layer group. And this is good for when you want to save it. So, you know, you wanted to save the head, you save the head, and you want to save the arm, save the dress, legs. Now, I would like to probably may maybe move the head. So let's go and click here. We want to move the rotation point to around about here. And let's move it up. Now here you see I got a bit of a problem. So unfortunately because of layering, the head is on top. Now if we move it behind the dress, which I can't do, yes I can do, like that, her hair is going to go behind, so that's not going to work. So you might just have to put a piece, a couple pieces in here, or something. Uh, this doesn't always work, but what it will do is you will be able to move it forward. So you should be able to pivot it down like this. Oops, wrong, wrong layer. Let's try that again. Pivot it down. Now this is over the top, so you are going to have some problems, but like in Synfig you can get different layers and attach them to bones, so you can actually make different layers um, and put this behind and put this on top, or make like a hair layer and then make like a face layer. Anyways, this is just showing you how to do stuff, you know, how to, this is more of a painting uh, without a mouse and without, sorry, painting with a mouse. So let's see if uh, we can move the legs.
Oh, cool. Looks good. Now, one more thing I'm going to show you, and this is just for testing, so I'm going to have to stop again. Okay, what I've done is I've created a layer group called upper body and moved the head, arm, and the dress into it. Now, when I go and do a rotate, this is just kind of a simulation of animation in a sense. Move her back and forth. Notice her legs aren't moving, just her arms. So, as you can see, it works pretty good. Now, I can got a bit of a problem here. But, you know, you can round out the buttocks area here. You can see how well that works. I mean, you know, so we can come in and rotate the legs a little bit. And then we come and do the upper body. I mean, that's almost animation without using an animation program. And I mean, this is how people do it, right? You can just save it out as uh, those frames and then just basically put it into. Um, Movie Maker and do it that way. So, um, what I suggest you do next is you get the pieces and save them as different parts. So, save them to be the legs first. Save the legs first. Doesn't matter the order, really. Oops. I suggest you save them as PNG because then that also saves the alpha layer which is basically clear which means you can have a background and the dress And there we go. It's all ready for animation. Okay, so I've quickly brought the, this little girl into uh, Synfig and created a skeleton around her, attached and some bones, and uh, here are the bones here. And then basically attached the head to this bone and the arm to this bone and the body to this bone. And because they link up, the bone, this bone connects to that bone, this bone connects to that bone. When I move this, she completely moves. Now, as you can see, this is not working out that well, but, you know, we're going to do different layers and link two different layers to the bone. Uh, but anyways, as you can see, that works. And let's just do a quick little animation. And I'll render it out and I'll show it to you. Okay, I've rendered it out. Just move, move the, the bones a little bit. And um, this is what we get. Now me, when I do animations, I don't really like to have smooth animations. I like to have more jerky mo animations. But anyways, um, so if you want more um, ways on how to do this, on how I've done use Synfig and other things, check out my other tutorials. Um, and good luck.